I apologize in advance. I woke up not feeling 100%, but I wanted to make sure that I got some good content out for you guys. Imagine waking up every morning and your entire day is already pre-planned and scheduled. What's up guys, my name is Gustavo David Ortiz, uh, entrepreneur, consultant, uh, investor, and real estate professional. I am today talking about this concept of block scheduling. The idea behind block scheduling is that you set aside a specific block of time every single day for a specific task so that you can actually not have to worry about what you're going to be doing um, any particular day in the future. So we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We probably need some time to sleep. Some of us would like to eat every once in a while. Of course, it would be nice to have some me time or family time. And then uh, if you're like me, you have a business to run in the time you have left. The ideal situation is to ensure that you're as productive as possible in the time that you're working on your business, but you still have time for eating and sleeping and spending time with your family, friends, and just maybe with yourself. It's a pretty simple concept. You've probably used it yourself when going on vacation. So for example, you might put on, on your vacation calendar, on your calendar in general, that you have a vacation that you're gonna be out for four days or for a week or something like that. So everybody knows this is the time you're gonna be spending on vacation so that nobody bothers you during that time. Whether that actually happens is a whole other subject. This same method could be utilized for just about anything in your business as well. So instead of, let's say, blocking out a time for a vacation, maybe you need to block out some time to follow up with some of your clients. So uh, for example, on Tuesdays and Fridays is the day that I dedicate a block of time where I'm going to be reaching out to my client base just to check in with them, see how they're doing, make sure that there isn't anything that I might be able to assist them with, and, and so on and so forth. By doing this, right, this essentially sets me up the same way that I would set up an appointment with a client. So I don't schedule any other activities during this time. This is the time that I have dedicated specifically for following up with my clients. So on Tuesday mornings and Friday mornings, with very few exceptions, do I do anything else? To be clear, I literally, you know, silence my phone. I try not to check any emails from the day before. This is really time that I'm dedicating to following up with clients, so all of my efforts are spent trying to either call them, text them, send them an email, something of that nature, but not doing any other business. Squirrel, I will say in order to really have uh, or really, really leverage this productivity tool, you are going to need to sit down and essentially put together a plan. First and foremost, you definitely want to know what your goals are, right? If you identify what your goals are, it'll help you prioritize how to best um, block schedule your, your calendar. So identify first, what are your key goals? And you can do that for the year, for the month, for the week um, at the end of the day you know you want to really have big picture goals and then also some maybe some smaller ones as well that lead you to that big picture goal if that makes sense once you have your goals in place it'll help you identify which tasks are going to be a priority for you in order for you to achieve those goals and that way you don't get distracted squirrel if you can get away from having any distractions in your day-to-day -day, squirrel it will allow you to become significantly more productive this also allows you to prioritize the things that are important uh, or urgent versus things that are just going to essentially help push your business forward, but aren't necessarily going to lead you uh, directly to the goal that you're trying to go after. The very first thing that you should be time blocking is the time that you have off. And uh, that that's primarily because uh, that's the most important thing in your life. Identifying the time that you're going to be taking off, your vacations, your time with family, you know, what your evenings are going to look like. You should block schedule those things first and then work all of the rest of your work and uh, work activities around that time. This also includes you know, breaks during the day like lunch or maybe, you know, coffee in the afternoon or whatever it is, make sure you block out some time for all of those little things as well. Now, you will need some way to actually document your block schedule. So you can use a traditional planner if that works for you. I personally use Google Calendar because I really like technology and I can see that across multiple devices without a problem. I could also share that calendar with any of my colleagues, with my family, so that they know what my schedule 
looks like as well. So that's been very helpful for me using a digital calendar, but if you work better with writing one out in a traditional form, that's up to you. You guys have to decide what makes sense for your business. The great, I guess, consequence to doing a block schedule, it, it helps you identify how much time you're taking for any particular tasks. So uh, obviously you can adjust uh, as you need. If you feel like you need more time to do a particular task, you open up that block and make it a little bit bigger. If you feel like you don't need as much time, you can tighten it up. The other cool thing about that is if you're growing as a business, it'll help you identify what areas you are gonna need assistance with. If you're finding that you're doing a lot of time with administrative work, and not enough time with actually building your business, then an administrator may be of assistance for you because you know how much time it's taking you, you've blocked it out, and you know how much time any administrator that you bring on board would be taking to do similar work. Now, there are all kinds of apps and tools out there that you can use to build your block schedule. Uh, however, to be quite honest with you, um, I've been very satisfied leveraging Google Calendar. I think any digital calendar would probably work. I don't think it's necessary to invest in any kind of app or anything to do that for you. Um, you just kind of identify what times uh, you're going to need in the day, how much time you're going to need to do a particular task, and then you go ahead and you apply that across your, your calendar. Another wonderful advantage of a block schedule is when you wake up in the morning, your entire day is already planned out. You don't have to sit down and think about what to do um, You know, when you sit down in the morning in the office or at home or wherever you work from. You already have that time set aside for you, for your day, for your week, for your month, for, the, for your year. Um, as you go and progress throughout, uh, throughout the process, you'll find uh, adding block scheduling throughout uh, the rest of the day, both on business side and the personal side, is going to make you much more effective. It's going to be uh, much more productive for you, both, again, on your personal and business uh, side of things. So I highly recommend using and leveraging a block schedule. I did. I started using one about a year and a half ago. It's completely changed my business. It allows me to do so much more than I was ever able to do before because I've identified the things that have the most priority and I'm able to be the most productive with my block schedule in place. So that being said, um, my name is Gus, uh, Gustavo David Ortiz, again, entrepreneur, consultant, um, uh, investor, and real estate professional. If you guys have any questions, please make sure that you comment below. Go ahead and share share, like, and subscribe if you like what you're hearing. I'd love to hear your comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.